The HomePod Mini is one of my favorite Apple devices, and in this video, I'm gonna show you five must-have accessories for your HomePod Mini. These accessories make the HomePod Mini more useful, gives you features like being able to make your HomePod portable, how this tiny little device can control your HomePod, and much more. And as always, I will leave links to everything down in the description below so you can check these out. The first must-have accessory on this list is a wall mount. The HomePod Mini is a great addition to any kitchen or bathroom to play music, set timers, or ask the weather. But having this extra cord on the counter doesn't really look clean. Plus, it can easily be knocked over or drinks or other liquids could be accidentally split on your HomePod while cooking, which I have almost done too many times. Now a wall mount or a shelf not only keeps wires off the counter, but also protects the HomePod from liquids and from getting knocked off, and doesn't impact or change the sound quality. There are many different options on Amazon, but none of them are really as good or as unique as this 3D printed wall mount on Etsy from Derek at Printspire Designs. He sent this mount out for this video, and wow, this thing is incredible. This wall mount replaces your existing faceplate and has a perfect cutout for not only the outlets and the light switch, but also a perfect spot on top for the HomePod to rest on. Just remove your existing faceplate, then run the HomePod's power cord through the hole on the top and then through the back. Wind up the cord inside the cord compartment under where the HomePod sits, then run the USB-C plug through the front and screw in the faceplate then plug in the HomePod's power adapter and then the cable. Now what really caught my attention with Jarek's wall mounts is that his faceplates come in all different styles of faceplates. This way you can really find a mount that matches your faceplate style, like GFCI or Decora or even a toggle switch. And not only that, but he also sells a single gang outlet that's perfect for a bathroom in either portrait or landscape orientation. Derek from Printspire Designs also makes accessories for other smart devices like Lutron, the Apple TV, and more. Derek really does it all and I'll leave a link down below so you can check all these out. Now you may know that the HomePod mini can act as a HomeKit hub for all HomeKit compatible smart devices. This includes smart bulbs, smart plugs, etc. A HomeKit hub is needed to view the status of smart devices remotely, control them from anywhere in the world, and for automations to run, like when a door is open, then a light can turn on. But what's really cool about the HomePod Mini is that it has thread built in. And that leads us to must have accessory number two, a thread enabled smart device. If you're not familiar with what thread is, basically thread is a newer smart home standard designed for smart devices. Thread offers faster response times, a more reliable connection between other thread devices, and longer battery life on devices that use batteries like contact or motion sensors when compared to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Thread devices create their own mesh network by using a required border router, which is a HomePod mini or the new Apple TV 4K and does not require a third party bridge. Plus, Thread is part of the new universal smart home standard matter, meaning you can buy any smart device, whether it's a smart bulb or smart plug, and it will work with any smart home assistant, Amazon, Google, or HomeKit. So buying Thread enabled devices are a great way to future proof your smart home. It's important to note that if your Thread border router is down, like if your HomePod mini is offline, then all the thread enabled devices will default to the slower connection of Bluetooth. Nanoleaf makes a very affordable light bulb at only 20 bucks, as well as their light strips and their shapes lineup. Eve is one of the big names that sells a wide variety of thread enabled devices like smart plugs, switches, contact sensors, and more. New thread enabled products are slowly being released like air purifiers and devices from Akara. Those are some accessories that you can use indoors, but what about outdoors? How do you use your HomePod mini outdoors if there are no electrical outlets. That leads us to probably the most unique accessory in this video, which is must have accessory number three, a battery base by Mission that allows your HomePod mini to be portable and use it anywhere. Now Mission did send this battery base out to me for this video, but my thoughts are completely on my own. One of my favorite ways to use this is just chilling outside, drinking coffee and reading a book. It's so nice to not have to worry about plugging in the HomePod and running a wire and worry about if it's gonna be long enough. You can just carry this thing wherever you go. It's also much easier than carrying around a blue to the speaker that you have to pair and reconnect each time and that's not very fun. Whereas your phone is already connected to your HomePod and that will give you access to Siri. This way you're able to use a Siri outside to control your smart home, play songs, all without having to have your phone. So how does this battery base actually work? Well, it's just a little case for the HomePod. On the top is where the HomePod sits nice and snug and there's soft padding on the inside to protect the HomePod and the HomePod does not fall out if it gets tips upside down. And on the back is two USB-C ports 
ports and labeled for what they do. On the left is the output for the HomePod mini to plug into, and the right is the input to charge the internal battery of the base. On the front is the power button to turn it on and off with a battery life indicator. This battery base is great if you don't want or have multiple HomePod minis all throughout the rooms throughout your home. Let's say in a room that might not be worth it to put it in like a bathroom. The battery base is about two pounds with the HomePod mini, so it's really not that heavy to carry around. The battery inside is 2000 milliamps, designed to last up to nine hours on audio playback and up to 20 hours on standby time. There is a couple things to keep in mind when you're using this battery base. The HomePod mini was not designed to be used outdoors, only indoors, plugged into the wall and connected to your Wi-Fi. So if you take the HomePod off of your network, say like if you wanna use this at a park or a friend's house, then you can still play music or other audio to the HomePod with AirPlay, but Siri won't work since it's not connected to the internet. When the battery base is turned off, you will see a no response message in the home app since the HomePod is not being powered and technically offline. Now, most importantly, if your HomePod mini is your main HomeKit hub and you take it off of your network, then the devices in your smart home won't work with the home app or be able to be controlled remotely or automations to run. They'll still work manually, but not from your phone or remotely. So keep that in mind if there are other people in your home that want to control your devices, either from voice or via the home app. But other than those few quirks, this is a great must have accessory for your HomePod mini. The battery base costs about 40 bucks and comes in black and white. So you can mix and match the colors with the color of your HomePod and the charging cable is color matched to the color of the battery base, which is a nice touch. Another must have accessory, one that I actually use every single day is number four, the Akara wireless mini switch. This is essentially a tiny little button that can control your home kit devices and run scenes that you've created just from the press of a button. The Akara mini switch is about 20 bucks and connects over Zigbee, meaning it does require a hub. And in this case, it's an Akara hub that is required to get this device into the home app. In the Apple home app, the mini switch has three different triggers that are exposed. A single press, double press, and a press and hold. And each trigger can be set up to control different devices or run different scenes. So a single press could turn off all the devices in your house. A double press could run a movie scene that turns off the lights to help set the mood. And a press and hold could play music in the morning on your HomePod, like a specific playlist that you like at a certain volume. If you're feeling extra adventurous, then you could have the HomePod play a specific playlist based on the time of day. So maybe in the morning between like 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. when you press the button, the HomePod could play some upbeat songs and change the color of lights to help you wake up. But if you press the button at night, say like between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m., then the lights could be a dim warm white and smooth jazz can play to help you relax for the night. I made a whole video on how to set this up with NFC tags and unique automations that you can also create. But the concept is the same with the Akara wireless mini switch. And I'll leave that down in the description below to check that out. Now this whole setup and Akara wireless mini switch and Akara hub cost about 50 bucks on the low end, but a cheaper alternative are NFC tags, which cost about 10 bucks for a pack of 10. NFC tags are these tiny little stickers that can be placed almost anywhere and can also be used to control your smart home devices by just tapping your iPhone on the tag. However, NFC tags can be finicky because you have to find the sweet spot on your phone to talk to the tag, usually near the top middle. It's cool when it works, but it can take a couple tries for the phone to talk to the tag. The NFC tags require your phone to run, whereas the Akara mini switch does not. So I've personally found the Akara wireless mini switch to be a bit more practical for everyday use for my wife and I. I made a video on how this button completely overhauled and changed how I use my my entire smart home that I'll leave linked down in the description below. Next up is this wooden tripod stand by Bilalo, which is accessory number five that takes your HomePod to a new level. Now, I did receive this tripod stand from Bilalo for this video, but this is my honest thoughts. It's handmade in Germany with 100% real oak wood and sealed with natural oils and waxes. There's these cork pads on the bottom to help keep the HomePod from sliding around and protects the surface of a table or a desk from the dreaded HomePod rings on a table. The HomePod mini sits perfectly on the stand and it looks amazing. Not only does this look incredible, but it also makes the HomePod sound even better. You may know that the HomePod mini has a 360 degree sound and having the HomePod mini elevated on the tripod allows you to hear more sound and you can truly experience the 360 degree sound. The 
The Bilalo tripod stand costs about 35 bucks a piece. It comes in a black or American walnut color or a white slash oak, so you can mix and match different colors of the HomePod minis. Plus, it's handmade out of high quality wood. And speaking of high quality, if there's anything that you should not skip out on, that's a high quality wallet. And Extra, who was sponsoring today's video, makes the most high quality wallet I have ever seen with features that just blows my mind. Not only does it have a quick release button that fans out all your cards to make it easy to find the one that you need, but some other wallets also have support for an AirTag. So if you lose your wallet, then you can find it with the Find My app. If the AirTag wallet is a bit too thick for you, then don't worry because Extra makes their own tracker powered by Chipolo technology that is ultra thin and you can see on a map where your wallet is, though it does not support Apple's Find My. Extra wallets are made out of high quality leather, space grade aluminum, and carbon fiber and can hold up to 15 cards. And what's even better is they all have an RFID blocking layer that protects your credit card details while you're out shopping for all your Christmas gifts. Meaning that you can take advantage of their Black Friday sale from now until the end of the month and get up to 40% off your own extra wallet. Just use code Adams Tech Life or go to shop.extra.com slash Adams Tech Life to automatically receive your discount. And a huge thanks to Extra for sponsoring today's video. These are some must-have accessories for your Apple TV and here are some hidden features that your HomePod Mini can do. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.